The province of KwaZulu-Natal is very unique in that it has a people that live in it that are so committed and so passionate to their province and their city that they are willing to just do anything to make sure that things work out. I'm sure you've seen over the last couple of challenges that we're faced with, uh, starting with COVID, and then we moved on to the unrest and we had the floods. The resilience um, and the collaboration and working together and rebuild of the people of this province is the real main differentiator that will ensure that the province continues to prosper. The province of KZN, like I said, I mean, the business people here are very, very passionate and we're clear. We're not going to let our province go down. So when it comes to uh, the challenges uh, that are actually stopping bigger investments to come in, we need to fix the infrastructure challenges that we have so that new developments can come in. So the exciting news is that we've got a lot of private sector companies that are coming on board to come in and invest on our water and sanitation and of course energy infrastructure, uh, which will then open up and enable other investments to come in. Do you know when you're around uh, positive, passionate people, like I said earlier on, that love their province, love their country, um, and want to see this country progress, it makes it so much easier um, for one to actually continue and become, you know, positive. Of course, there's also those naysayers uh, that also are out there, you know, promoting negativity and stuff. But the most important thing is really looking beyond that and being above that and looking for the positiveness. I always say, uh, you know, to my team and also to my kids and, you know, family to say, you know, in everything, look for the positive. So having that attitude and that mindset will really help us come out of these challenges that we have. I think we live in a beautiful country. Um, we've got massive amount of opportunities uh, for the future of this country. So what I always say is that uh, we all need to play our part. So um, I need to play my part right now to build a future country for my children and their children so that uh, we all have a, a, a future and a great country to actually uh, look forward to. So it's always very, very good that uh, when we're in certain positions um, where we're able to influence things, let's take everybody else with us, but let's make sure that at the same time, open up life, taking people with us to, to promote uh, goodness, uh, to build our country. Um, let's, let's, let's do the right things um, and, and let's support each other. Let's grow our country. Let's get it to um, greater levels. So every single day I, I pray to God um, and I say, please give me the strength to be able to build a, you know, a good legacy and something impact, impactful uh, that I can look back to and my kids can look back to in future and say, uh, this is the role that our mom did um, and uh, this is how it helped, um, you know, the city, the province and the country. Thank you.